There's a feeling in the air that you can't get anywhere except in Calgary. I taste a thousand years. time since I've uh, spoke to you but um, I just wanted to send you this video to congratulate you on your guys' upcoming graduation that's um that's amazing 12 years really flies by you know um take it from my advice the these last 12 years may have seemed slow but the next 12 will literally scream by so you know whether you guys enjoyed the last 12 years or not it's um truly a milestone in your life and, and a time that you guys will always remember you know um, it wasn't the boring math classes or the long-winded history lessons you, you guys will remember, but it's those, those friendships you guys forged, the people standing next to you, and, and the laughs you guys shared. That is the stuff that um, you will remember from all your time in school. You know, um, you guys are a lot luckier than you think. We, I've had the opportunity to meet um, quite a few of you guys as teachers and, and, and faculty at Rundle, and um, you guys are luckier than a lot of kids out there. Um, and your teachers are smarter than you probably give them credit for, too. I mean, it wasn't the math or the Shakespeare that you guys were being taught. Your, um, your, your teachers know that you guys don't care about that stuff. And while they, while they bored you with long division, they were quietly teaching you life lessons. And the irony of it is, it, is it'll take you probably until you're in your 30s, probably until you're my age, before you kind of realize all the trickery of this and, and kind of think back on some of the lessons you guys were taught. Um, Finishing high school is, is a weird thing, you know? Over the last 12 years, school has defined everything you guys have done. It's what you do, it's where you're supposed to be. I think I think the problem with school is that it can it can really pigeonhole you, and, and you start to believe that you're one thing and, and one thing only. Um, you know, you can be the jock or you can be the nerd, but school doesn't always allow you to be both. Um, I don't have too many words of wisdom but um, I just want you to know that to just forget who you were in high school, you know? You have the opportunity to become anything you want after high school. You know, once you leave high school, no one cares if you were the class president. They don't care if you were the, you know, captain of the football team. You get to redefine everything that you are and who you want to be and what you'll become. You know, the, the true beauty of graduation is that you now define you. It's... For the first time in your life, it's it's really and truly up to you. Um, you know, take it from me that the world is a is a huge place, you know, and there is there's a million ways to live a life, and there are truly a million ways to make a buck. You know, I've always been a huge proponent of travel, and I truly believe that to understand the world, you have to see it, and that doesn't mean seeing it via Facebook tweets and posts, or from the balcony of your all your all inclusive hotel. You know, at some point in your life, I really advise you to, to grab a backpack, stuff it with some dirty clothes or clean ones if you have them, and, and get out there and buy a ticket and just see, see some of our world. You know, no matter what happens on these trips, um, you will always come back with a broader sense of our world and, and a greater understanding of, of the people that live in it. 
you know, over the last five years, I've had the opportunity to to meet some amazing people and help in some amazing communities in India. Um, and that has been in large part because of what you guys have done for me. Um, a few a few years ago, when I visited you guys and, and spoke to you about the work that I hoped we could achieve together, the garden cleanup project and the, the garbage dump and the, all the education that we, we hope to provide, I felt like it was probably really hard for you guys to fathom the, the impact on what we did. You know, we have literally put hundreds of kids in school. You know, that that garden that we cleaned up has transformed that community. Um, you know, people lived on top of and beside a garbage dump for years. And until Rundle and Dirty Wall got together, you know, we, that the money raised, we, we changed that, you know, and that's, that is truly, truly amazing. You know, the, the gift of education, you know, like, you guys have been to school for 12 years and it, sometimes it doesn't feel like a privilege and I totally get that because I'm I'm from Canada as well uh, but being in North America it really it really makes that hard to understand but um, the majority of the, our world you know school is not is not um, it's not a it's not a right it's a, it's a privilege for them and up until 2009 I don't think I really understood that either um, but with the sport of kids for kids we have really really done some amazing things for some young families and you guys have given my family such an, an amazing opportunity to to be the face of all our help and um, I am forever humbled for the opportunity to have met you guys um, I'm so excited to see where you're where you guys are gonna go next you know the world is, is truly your oyster and you guys are our generations have the opportunity to change careers several times and and to really find what we want to do so um, you know you guys are at the start of some something really special and you know when when you guys have the opportunity to travel do it and, and travel in a way that you get to understand where you are and, and, and if you have the opportunity to help whether it's five bucks of buying someone a meal or or going into a to an impoverished community and, and, and giving it a shot trying to help and that doesn't mean you have to join a a big charity or or anything you can do the power of one is is truly an amazing thing, you know. It's um, Dirty Wall was built on that mandate, and but it's truly been a group effort um, to make it happen. But you guys don't; it doesn't have to be that way either. Anything you do to help someone makes our world a better place, and, and you guys have have really shown me um, that it's possible. So I wish you guys um, the best of luck. Um, I'm really excited for um, the life you guys have ahead of you. Um, you guys have you guys have given me the opportunity to bring so many smiles to Sakinaka, and I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you now with um a few a few videos to to end off end off this time because I want to show you guys the smiles that that I had to, got to witness every day um, in Sakinaka, and, and that my family continues to bring to this community because of people like you. So have an amazing summer, have an amazing journey in the in the in whatever wherever life takes you, and, and I really appreciate having the opportunity to meet you and um i wish you guys the best of luck so uh, yeah happy graduation guys take it easy